All right, so Mark's back because Mark, you wanted some power. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Eventually he wants to do wheelies, but I don't think we're going to pull it off today. What do you guys think? It's nah. my last video. <laughs> right? Here, I'll flash it up right here. Look, here's where he did a video, uh, a wheelie. All right, we're going to go run number two. Come on, 6-5. really super American bald eagles but that's not what we have however if a bald eagle were to buy a t-shirt to wear this would be the one a bald eagle cannot wear a t-shirt of a bald eagle he would definitely wear this so maybe next we do a bald eagle shirt and the school wears it I don't know I don't know where I'm going but right now this is what's available so again this serves a purpose guys front piece access for all save our dunes that's gonna be pertinent to any riding area because they're all in danger boom that's right, dandyoffroad.com also on YouTube is where you can purchase your very own American t-shirt. If you're American, you should get one. If you love bald eagles, which who doesn't love bald eagles? Get one for your favorite bald eagle. He would totally wear this. Okay, if you guys are interested in getting one of these t-shirts, go to dandyoffroad.com, just like the last time. This is going to be posted up on page one so that you can find it and access it easily. Yeah. We found your diagnostic part, right? Right. All right, so let's pull that out, the code shooter. One of you guys want to pull that uh, center cap off? Yeah, hold this guy off. Right here. Yeah, the port's right inside, under there. Don't put my wiring mess on your camera there. <laughs> I can't even see it. I don't even... Is it this one? No. It's, uh, oh, it's one of these back there. It's the, it's the bigger round, uh, square one, the back one, I think. This one? Uh, no, it's that one that's plugged in. This one? Yep, that one. That's the one. All right, so there's the diag cord. We're gonna plug it into that cable. Have to run twist all the bits. Nope, actually no, goes into the, the cable. Into the cable you pulled out. The one you unplugged. Oh, yep. there you go. Bam, just like that. Can only go one way. All right, now we're gonna plug in to the new code shooter. And right. we're gonna turn the key on. the dash on oh you know what we have the wrong cable probably all right okay so we got the code shooter hooked up this time and now we're gonna go into the software this here comes the big moment so this is to connect to the code shooter itself and then that just pulled your VIN number and sure it's the right one right yeah all right here's what we got so we got original with raised speed limit so that's your original uh, factory tune then we got the original original factory tune then we got a stage one stage two stage two R 91 stage three 91 stage three R 91 and stage three 93 so you could technically go to 93 uh, Octane, but you want to stay with 91 right now, right? Yes. So we're going to do 3R and 91? Yep. All right. So, <clears throat> so I'm assuming this works like the Map Tuner X, and when I click on this, it's going to tell us all the bits we need to change. Uh, download flash file. So we're going to download. Uh, right now is the time when we need to decide Everybody has everybody's got to participate. What's it gonna run? Do you know what you know what it ran the zero to 60 last time? I have no idea. Stop Six six five was your best right six five seven or something, right? So six five seven This is the stage three and this car started at six five seven. Everybody's got to throw it in there I say I'm gonna shave off one second. You're gonna shave off one second? Well, hopefully more but that's actually one second's a lot. What do you think? So five five for me. I think point eight a second off. Point eight. Mm -hmm. So eight tenths. Yeah. That's 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 reasonable. I'm with Mark because we uh, did the spark plugs and everything last night. We had to recap them could, all. That could help. Oh, and a fresh air filter. Yeah, oh, well, that'll help too. Fresh air filter, and okay. I put a little bit of air in the tires too. Oh, well, there you go. But that might mean they slip more. They might. We'll see. I'm going to say 
Four to five tenths. All right. That's my guess. I'm being conservative. So let's see where we're at. We're done. So now we just have to push this green button and away we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Last loaded file. Files in your tuning. Okay. DR91. So we are flashing right now. It should start doing some random. It says check. Oh, it's been saying like time. Yeah, it'll say some stuff. All right, we're gonna flash this thing to the three R ninety one and pop wheelies. Wow. As long as I edit, edit. <laughs> Ready for the big moment. Oh, we just hit it. All right. We are done. Right? Loaded. Accent must have shut off. It said dart mode, yeah. Yeah? It's still on, but it said dart mode after it. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this real quick. Here's the thing. We might have to do a little research real quick because it didn't tell us what we need to set the, the map tuner X will actually show you when you go to the tune, it'll actually show you what things you need to change. I don't know if that's an option in here or not. Okay, so I don't know if this actually is gonna show us the adjustments we need to make, so we might just have to jump online. Info. Okay, so it gives your uh, VIN number. All right, well, We'll come back because what we're going to do right now is look this up and see what we need to be at on uh, what uh, crap pressure we need to set this to. All right, so we got this guy flashed and now we're going to set the, uh, uh oh, what's Mark got there? That's weird looking. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to, we got it flashed. Get that camera. There's a bad, bad camera right now. But anyway. So we're using this one, so forgive us if it doesn't look as good. Anyway, Mighty Vac, uh, a lot of you guys have already seen this. We have an assistant today. And what he's gonna do is, first we're gonna see if we can get a read on uh, what the pressure is right now. Then after we're done with that, you can use that wrench, lo loosen it up and I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you the next step steps. I'm gonna go on the other side and I'll show you what's up. Okay, see this guy right here? What I do is I pull it down with my thumb. And I slowly work it off, and I hope that I don't drop it. <laughs> but I'm holding the camera, so... Yeah, it's a, it can be a little sketchy. I have dropped him. I'm going to warn you right now. All right. But not today. All right, so the Jesus clip is right there. So what we do is pull this guy back. <laughs> All right. All right, so we found a new clamp. Uh, we'll put this on temporary. I actually have some uh, some of the squeeze clamps if we want to put the original clamp back on when we're done. But right now we're going to cut it off and put this on so that if we need to make further adjustments, we can just unscrew it. So yeah, so you just need to... Snip your anchor on the thing. Yeah, I kind of just grab it and kind of work it loose. There we go. That works too. Yeah. All right, now you get to do the honors with the Mighty Back. So you can slide that on there. And here's how this works. See this guy? Yep. When it starts to, to move, mm -hmm. so get up close to seven. When it starts to move, that's where we're at. I just want to confirm what this Mighty Back says. Nice and slow when you get up close to seven. Okay, moved. Where you at? Just barely went over seven. Barely went over. Okay, so that's pretty accurate as long as this thing's accurate. All right, so release that. Now what we're gonna do is grab that wrench right there. Yep, and loosen that jam nut. 
By the way, lefty loosey righty tizing. Now, so we want to go to eight. So to get to eight before it moves, we're going to spin this in. So back this nut off and pull that off there and spin that guy in about a full turn. And I'll make it two turns. One. That's half. Go another one. One more. All right. Now drop it back on and we'll tighten it. Do not let me forget to, let's, don't worry about the jam nut yet. Let's test it with the Mighty Vat. Do not let us forget to tighten that jam nut and put the Jesus clip back on because bad things, bad things can happen then. Shouldn't be able to go anywhere without that jam nut unless it'll turn inside. Oh, it will. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where are you at right now? Six. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, take it back up again. Uh, we're gonna creep up on it really slow this time. So when you get to seven and a half, let me know. Seven and a half. Okay, keep going. Okay, moved. There's eight. Right, it's right on it. Right on it? it. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. Oh. You tighten that, I'll put Jesus clip on. I hope to God I don't drop it. Almost dropped it. That's not on, there we go. There. I mean, this thing's, that clamp's obviously not gonna go anywhere, but no, and that pressure's pretty low there. Yeah. All right. I think we're ready to go. So I'd say what we're gonna do, we're gonna take all these tools with us and try to get a reading on the boost. And if it's off, we'll be able to adjust. All right, all right what's going on, man? We gotta go test. All right, what do you guys think? What you gotta give me your numbers. You gotta give some numbers. Even if you're just throwing a random ass guess out there. What do you got? Uh, five give, and a half. Five and a half? That's my number. What do you got? Uh, I got uh, 5.6. 5.6? Oh, that's cheating. <laughs> and you got what? Mine was five and a half. I got two five and a half. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll go for a five and a seven. I'm just gonna be, you know, I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. I'm gonna be like pessimistic a little bit. Yep, right here. Oop, don't show that. <laughs> that's a, the, well, the Mexican border police are right over there. You know, we're, we just dropped, just dropped into Mexico. We've been driving out, what, five, six, seven, eight, nine hours? It's wow. right on, exhausted. You guys tired? Yeah. Yeah, that's a long drive, huh? Uh, we had to stop about three times for food and so far. Okay, let's see what this thing's got. It's a 3R. On 91, takes it from what was it? It was from four, what was it? 14 pounds of boost to 17.5. So here's the thing: I'm new to the code shooter. We've tuned one other time with it. We have not tried to do any kind of like on-the-screen data information. So we're gonna set up the GoPro. We're gonna have Mark watch the screen the best he can. Yeah, the, I, we didn't bring the code shooter, so we can't even look at the boost probably maybe on a second run and try to figure out uh, if we can see what the boost what the boost hits so oh that's what I forgot the clamp for the phone oh well we'll have to do our best all right all right let's do this I'm a double dumbass because here's what we just did not only did we not get a clamp for the phone I didn't get the I, we didn't bring the coat shooter so we can't even look at the boost so we're gonna drag it and then we'll see how you feel about it and if we want to do over, redo, do more. Right. A, we'll talk about it then, but I'm sure you, we're here. You want to run it, right? Smash the subscribe button. Whoa, right here. <laughs> Give them the whole thing then. What should they do? Smash the subscribe button, like the video, and comment. Oh, they can share it. Oh, yeah, share it. Okay, cool.